Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a video that they couldn't understand the language. And the gentleman was doing it. And when they tried to do it, it didn't work. What they were, I think they were doing, was doing this. And then going up to trim. And their piece was being trimmed. Well, you need to select your trimmer first. So I've got it selected. Then I'm going to shift select the other letter. And then I'm going to go to trim. What that did is making a beautiful stencil font. So just, and the gentleman needs some help because he's got to make a lot of different fonts or words with stencils. So hold down the shift and just select and then you're trimming it. So if you're going to do this a lot, let me just, uh, let me make some other letters that you would have to trim like uh, D and the letter eight. Or does it help have a capital D? So let's go and let's trim these, but let's make it even better. Let's make a little shortcut key for this. <clears throat> now, there's two ways to get through the shortcut key, but uh, one of them, you could select all that right there and you do this. So the trim is available. But if we go to tools, options, customization, you can go up here and click on trim and there it is right there. If you can't do that, if you don't have anything selected, you can always just go tools, options, customization, and right here, just search trim. I mean, that's an easy one. There's really only one. So we're going to give it a shortcut key. We've got it selected a new shortcut key. I've got almost all of mine used, like X is eraser, which I never use, but I never use V. So we're going to assign it and then say, okay. Now, if you save it for default tools and default, it'll do it forever. So this would be really easy because you keep, kind of keep your hand on the keyboard. So shift, you've got that selected, shift, select that, and then hit B. That selected, shift, select that, and hit B. You're making it, of course, I'd want it in the center. Or maybe not. Maybe you want it a little bit different. So you need to select the trim piece first. And you could, you know, you could uh, make it any amount of, uh, let's rotate it. My numbers aren't locked. Let's rotate it 45 degrees. You could actually, you know, trim from any angle. And just, you've got it selected, hold down the shift, and then hit B, and you just got it done that quick. Now, if you look at it in a hairline, if you're a, we got to select it. If we left click, right click, it's separate items. Now, it's still grouped together, uh, but you could definitely, you know, go up to object and uh, probably break the curve apart and have individual, individual pieces if you needed them. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. Thank you for watching.